Does anybody think that faith alone is a false, dead gospel for lazy, slothful people? Do, do you ever wonder if maybe, just just maybe, easy believism or free grace preachers are false prophets and lazy idol servants that promote a lazy, dead faith that refuses to work? Do any of my subscribers ever consider if we are wrong about this? That, that you know, just maybe, I'm just asking this question that perhaps we are just finding excuses not to do work for God. Do, do you ever wonder that? So, based on a video I was doing the other day, I found this post by a channel that I've refuted before and attacked before, and I've I've attacked this guy frequently. And it's about James 2.26, that as, as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is, is dead also. And when I've explained James before, you know, I've explained that it's it's not justification for righteousness, it's, it's a different kind of justification, which he would disagree on and, and he would say that I'm perverting scripture by saying that. So obviously he seems to think that this is something we have to do for salvation. And he's thrown these questions at free grace people saying, you know, why won't you just deny yourself? Why won't you just do the work for God? Why don't you want to do some work for Jesus. And I, and I just wondered, you know, maybe I'm the false prophet. Maybe I'm the guy who's got it wrong. You know, maybe I, as a faith alone person, am raising lazy, useless, slothful, wicked converts who just refuse to do work for God. And, you know, because he's got so many videos and, and he just does so much for God with all of his content and all of his study videos that, you know, he, he's doing the works and he's denying himself. So all the people that agree with him and would call me false, you know, may maybe they're right. You know, have you ever just wondered? So this isn't going to be a very interesting video. Um, not all of you are going to want to listen to this whole thing, because after a while, you'll, you'll probably get the idea at where we're going at here. But I thought I'd take a bit of time to not not look at this guy, because I've already done a lot of work on this guy, but just to look at his followers, that the people that agree with him and that think that I'm the false prophet because they think that we should be doing works for Jesus. And I just want to examine what their faith is like and what is the fruit of their righteous tree. If they're the ones that are working righteousness and I'm just this bone idle, lazy, easy believism idiot, you know, maybe there's something I can learn from these people and, and maybe, you know, I need to repent of my false gospel. So I'm going to spend a bit of time just sort of looking through uh, the sort of people that agree with this guy and, you know, can we see any fruit of their works salvation? So that's what we're going to look at in this video. Now, um, Epiusione said quite often on his channel that we, we need to be obeying Jesus' commandments to enter heaven. And one of the commands that, that uh, there's obviously a lot of commandments and, I, I, you know, I, took, I had to think about which ones he meant. But one of the commandments that I thought of was about the gospel, because, you know, Jesus said, preach the gospel to every creature that that's one of his very important commandments and this guy tells me i have to obey jesus commandments if i want eternal life and so i looked on the um concordance just look for the word gospel and it's it's a new testament word rather than old testament word and it, and it appears 95 times so it's obviously important it's obviously something that jesus emphasized a lot and that's obviously a part of obeying his commandments and apparently you know as this guy says it's something that i have to do it's not just enough to believe i have to be doing these commandments so i thought i'd look at you know all the people that are preaching the, the true gospel and seeing what the fruit of their faith is so let, let's you know spend a bit of time and let, let's take a look at these people so the first person that's that's underneath this this post that you know noah had to do the the work to prove it. He, he couldn't just have faith alone he, he had to do some work right so you know, that's a lot of these people are all agreeing with this post. So here's the first guy. He he gives it an amen. So he obviously agrees with it that Noah couldn't just have faith. He had to build the ark, you know, and, and we apply that to salvation. We have to be doing works to be saved. So let's just have a look at um, his channel. Uh, let's see what's going on here. So, OK, this channel doesn't have any content. So he's not really obeying the commandment to preach the gospel to every creature here or or if he is you know it's it's not obvious to anyone clicking on his channel maybe his videos are hidden or something i'm not quite sure um let's see if he's i mean he's not even made any playlists you know some people just make playlists of other people's work um so that you know at least people can find the playlist he's not done anything there 
let's just have a look at his about page. Um, 2020, that's only been about two years. So maybe he's just a new believer and maybe he's not yet put his faith into action and he just maybe needs to do something with it to, to justify it according to James 2. But uh, let's have a look at this page. See, Epius, he, he's, he's not really warning him, hey, you need to be putting your faith into action and doing some works. He's giving it a thumbs up and they're God blessing and amening each other. But I can't really see what what work he's doing, though. Um, maybe there's something that I don't know. You know, maybe they know each other. Maybe he's done some street preaching with them or something like that. So, you know, may, maybe he's just the wrong guy. Let, let's try somebody else. Let's see. Who's this KC guy? Amen. Having faith... Oh, this is important, actually. Remember I just said the gospel, and I said that's a pretty important commandment. He seems to agree with me on that. You see, he's saying, Amen. Having faith and not preaching the gospel is a dead faith. Okay, well, you know, I, I thought gospel's a pretty important commandment. We seem to be in agreement there. So, Amen, KC. That's a... That's a good thing to say, that, you know, a good faith should be preaching the gospel. So let's, um, it's got a thumbs up from Epiusion as well, so, you know, he obviously likes what he's saying there. Let's just uh, have a look at his channel then. Let's see what he's got on here. Oh, there is a video, let's, uh, oh, Amazon, something. Oh, he's got a rep, I, I'm, you know, I'm not sure what that's got to do with the kingdom of God, that looks a bit worldly to me. But anyway, let's have a look at his videos. He's not got a lot of subscribers. Oh, he's, oh, huh? Oh, this, where's... Where's the gospel? Is it is it in there? I wonder if he's done the... I mean, nobody's going to click on that looking for the gospel. I mean, you just said it's it's a dead faith if you don't preach the, the gospel. Where, okay, maybe he's a new believer as well. Maybe he's still learning. I mean, he did that about three months ago. Um, let's have a look at his about page. How long has his YouTube channel existed? Since 2012. Oh, 2012. So his YouTube channel has existed for... Over ten years, he's he's done nothing for the gospel, and only three months ago he's posting stuff to do with the world. But di didn't like Epiusion say that we're supposed to deny the things of this world, we're supposed to crucify the things. That, but he's he's giving it a thumbs up that you know he's giving it heart there. So I, I don't understand if we have to preach the gospel, otherwise it's a like what are you doing then? Because there's there's not really anything about Jesus on here. That is really confusing. Hmm. I must be missing something. Maybe, because, may, you know, on YouTube you can do unlisted videos, so maybe when he gives out tracks, perhaps, you know, he links to videos for the people he gives the gospel to, but, you know, maybe they're just not public, I can't just see them. So, okay, we'll, we'll give him a pass, but let, let's have a look at someone else. Watchman of Yeshua. Hmm. I don't really know who Yeshua is, because doesn't, doesn't the Bible call him Jesus? Um, I, I don't know what this thing is with Christians, so-called, calling him Yeshua. I don't know why they don't just call him what the Bible calls him, you know, because we have to, you know, cling to the words that Jesus actually gave us. But never mind. Let, that, that, that's not important. Let's let's have a look at his his channel. He's giving it an amen, and he gets he gets a thumbs up as well. So again, you know, he no one needs to put his faith into action. We need to be doing something for God here. And I'm just a bone idle, easy believism idiot that refuses to do any work. So let's have a look at. Oh, he has got some video. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, this is, so he might have some stuff then. Let's let's have a look what he's got. So videos. Um, that looks like it's something scientific, which it's not evil, but I'm not sure what it has to do with the gospel, though. Uh, again, something scientific. Scientific. Uh, again, none of these, not a lot of these really have anything to do with the gospel. Uh, there's something about the mark of the beast, which isn't really about the gospel, but I mean, at least it's something to do with the Bible, um, something about the vaccine. Uh, let's just have a quick look at that. So I'm not I'm not going to play the whole thing, but let's just start playing Hello, it. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Right. Cortana here. Um, I'm okay, I, I don't know if day. you can hear this. I don't know if my recording software is capturing the audio, but he, he's not worded this. It's just, it's Cortana's voice. So I, I don't know what the deal is with that, but it, it seems to be more about vaccines than anything gospel related uh, i mean it's just one picture so i i guess he's just typed a bunch of words into a cortana thing and then just recorded it so i don't think he put a lot of work into that to be honest Let, let's have a look at what else he's got something to do with the uh, washing away your old ways okay i guess there's something about works there let's have a look at this 
So he just tell Hello, me to do brothers oh. And sisters in Christ. oh, it's another Cortana voice. This is Cortana uh, again. I don't know why he doesn't just use his own voice, because, like, doesn't Epiucion say that we should be bold for Christ? Are you too cowardly to sort of use your own voice, or could you not be bothered? I don't know. Look, maybe he just couldn't afford a microphone. I need to be careful that I'm not judging him for, you know, if he can't afford a microphone. But this content, I mean, the last thing was about a year ago, so he's, he's done nothing in the last year, but, but he is giving it an amen to, you know, the idea that we have to do work and... Epiusion's giving him a thumbs up. He's not warning him or anything. I mean, do they all go out street preaching with him or something? You know, maybe he just knows him in, in person. Obviously, that wouldn't be reflected on their YouTube channel. How long he has he been? Oh, 2011. That's over 11 years. So you're telling me in 11 years you, you couldn't do anything for the, for the gospel, but you've done stuff about some irrelevant stuff that's got nothing to do with Jesus. But... I don't know. I mean, you're giving it an amen, though. I don't understand. Right, well, that's another one that's confused me. Let's just keep trying. Let's just keep going here, see how we do. Okay, so here, here's another guy, then. So, um, hero of the faith. So he's, he's speaking pretty positively about Noah for actually building the ark. Um, and, uh, wow, great verse. So if he would have... Dis he would he have... Mm, interesting question. So he gets a thumbs up, so... You know, once again, commending this idea that we need to be doing works for our faith. Let's have a look at him. Um, oh, there is some Bible-related stuff on here. Let's, well, they're all there's no video tab. That that means that he's not produced anything himself. Although at least he's made some playlists so that somebody stepping into his playlist could at least see videos done by other people. Uh, you know, faith alone destroyed. There it is. So, you know, at least there's an evangelism. So at least there's something about the gospel. But it, it's not really his work, though. He's just sort of put on something. I mean, I don't know how long it takes to make a playlist. I don't think it's a lot of hard work, to be honest. But let's, let's see how long he's been about. So he's had four years to produce something, which is it's longer than my channel's been around. I would have thought he could do something on his own. Stop sinning, follow Jesus. Well... I mean, he did say to preach the gospel to every creature. Couldn't, couldn't you do something yourself? Do you have to just piggyback off of other people? Because, I mean, you know, Jesse Morell's doing the work. I mean, Adam at EPUC on apologetics, he's doing the work. Shouldn't shouldn't you be doing the work? And, I mean, if, if you post both of these men in your playlist, I mean, do you agree with both of them? Because although they do agree that faith must produce works and, you know, they both agree with conditional security... Adam says that uh, repentance, of, of turning from sin, is a work, because in a video where he said repentance means turn from sin, he pointed to that verse in Acts where Paul says, bring forth works. So he says that repentance is a work, but Jesse Morell, I've done a documentary where I featured him saying that repentance is not a work, even though they both say it means turn from sin. So if one of these men is hearing the voice of God, that either repentance is or isn't a work... One of them's right and one of them's wrong, but you, you're posting both of them. Do you agree? With, which one do you agree with? That that's interesting. I don't know who that other guy is, but oh, that's lie. Hmm. So okay. So I mean, you've, you've, I mean, at least you've got something. That's the, that's the most amount of work we've seen so far, and all you've done is playlists. So hmm, that's a, another one. But no warning. You know, he's not warning him that he's not doing enough work. So he must know that he's working enough to be saved. Otherwise, you know, because he loves his soul and he loves people, he, he would warn them about that, right? So that's just, you know, me not understanding. Let's have a look at the next guy. So let's see, uh, again, why does he talk in Hebrew? This is an English channel. He's got an English name. What what is Who is he trying to fool here? Can we not just call him the word that the Bible actually... I don't know what this deal is with the Hebrew language that people have. It's, it's weird. But anyway, that doesn't matter, does it? That's not important. Oh, a video. Again, okay. Somebody's done a video. It's a short. Something about chickens. Let's have a look. Let's hope it's not too loud. Oh, it doesn't... I'm sorry. Sorry about that. doesn't seem like it's gospel relevant, though. It's not really doing anything for Jesus. When was that? That was... It's fe is that February? To... So we're in, uh, I'm in November now, so that was several months ago. He's not really done any work for God, but, I mean, again, he's he seems to be praising the author and getting a thumbs up. What? How long's he been around? 2013. So you've been around for nine years. Your faith hasn't produced 
video content for Jesus. Oh, you've done a playlist and it's worship, but that looks like... Is that like a Bethel video or something? I mean, don't all you, like, sinless perfectionist types, don't you think that some of these churches are apostate when they've got all these lights and things? Um, you know, are, they, are these not like the bad guys when there's all the smoke in the background? I, I don't know, I've, I've never actually heard them mention that, but, you know, it is a little bit worldly, and that's all your playlist links, it's just worship. There's nothing for the gospel on here, there's nothing about warning me about my sins or lack of works or anything, but he's got a thumbs up. See, this is what I don't understand. Could could somebody put something in the comments to help me with that? I don't understand this. Let, let's just let's keep going, keep going. E. Clinton. So somebody must have done something with their faith here. Because, you know, if this guy's preaching the true gospel and I'm not, we must expect that these converts are doing something. Let's try E. Clinton. Hmm. No content. Why? I thought we had to work for... Oh, he's done some playlists. It's, again, other people's work. Done nothing himself. Some of these... I mean, there's Bible things. They don't all look like they're about the gospel, though. You know, like, to, oh, there's something about Jesus in there. Some film, I guess. Uh, he's done, done something by Y City Preacher, so obviously someone can click on his channel, find his playlist, and they'll come across that. But he's not really done any of his own work, though. How long's he been around? Again, nine years. What have you done in nine years? You, you're doing nothing. I thought we had to produce works for our faith. There's nothing here. What are you doing? But again, he's, he's got a thumbs up. There's no warning here. They, they must be doing something. If it, I, I guess they go out in the street screaming at people, but don't they usually like to take videos of themselves doing that so they can be seen of men? Uh, you know, just so that we can see their works and glorify God. Uh, but apparently not. So, Jeremy J, I, I have spoken to him before, actually, because if you just remember when we looked at his channel and, it, and I, there was that video by Y City Preachers, I've attacked Y City Preachers on somebody else's channel and he defended Y City Preachers and he quoted Ephesians that salvation is a gift from God. But then when I said, well, Y City Preachers doesn't believe that, he attacks the idea that salvation is by grace without works. He then goes to James 2. So, you know, and, and he actually said to me, let's see if I can find you the comment actually, because I think I took a picture of the comment before he deleted it. So, um, when I had this altercate, now it, it wasn't six minutes ago, it was back in August, this, but I took a picture of his comment. I, I don't know what prompt, you know, something prompted me. Take a picture of his comment, because he, he did actually delete it later from the original video, and I thought I might need it. And he says, yes, he is against faith alone, so speaking of Y City preachers, because faith without works is dead, 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 just as the body without the spirit is dead, dead. So he seems to mention dead three times. He's really emphasising this. This is obviously something that's really close to his heart. He feels really passionate about this, that, you know, faith without works, absolutely, it's really dead. It's dead, dead, dead. So he, he obviously feels really passionate about it you know, works that, you know, faith will must produce work. So let's have a look at him then, because, uh, again, they seem to agree with each other. Uh, he must be a regular listener, I guess, of Epiusion. Let's have a look at his channel. This channel doesn't have any content, but, but you told me that Faith Without Works is dead, 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 though. Like, this channel is looking pretty dead. If you can only get three subscribers, and I'm, I'm guessing they're just people who know who you are. There's nothing here. Have you done any... No playlists either. So, if Faith Without Works is dead, 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 and you're insisting on that when you're arguing with me and telling me that I'm wrong and defending somebody else, like, surely you, you must have done something for God. Well, how long have you been around? Nine years. Are you telling me that in nine years, nine and a half years even, you have done nothing for God on here? Now, I'm, I'm, you know, maybe you do other things. Maybe you go out preaching the gospel in the street, screaming at people, or maybe you do door knocking like the Bible commanded you to. You know, maybe you just preach the gospel to the people that you bump into in the supermarket. You know, you could live a really righteous life, for all I know. I obviously don't know anything about you, and I'm not in a position to criticise. But are you telling me that you can find time to watch videos and comment on them? You've been around for, you know, nine years at least on YouTube, you obviously know what the Bible says, so wouldn't that wouldn't the Holy Spirit if like compel you to sort of do something so the average Joe can like hear about the gospel on your channel? You can like edify the saints with a Bible study or something. But I mean, you did say to me that works. You know, if it doesn't have works, faith is dead, dead, dead. So surely you must be doing something. It's just I can't I can't tell what I can't. 
I can't verify how you know how good you are or that you're that you practice what you preach because I've got nothing to go on. But you make a real point of arguing with me on the internet, though. So I, I don't understand this. Somebody please explain this because again, he's getting thumbs up. There's no warning. He's not telling him, "Hey, you need to be doing some work. You've been around for nine years. Come on, put your faith into action. Do some work for God. Deny yourself. Crucify the flesh." Nothing. Um, and then uh, Hemi, Hemi girl, is that okay? Noah had to preach for 125 years. Nobody lists. So again, nobody's listening to you. Well, I wonder why. But anyway, uh, you know, obviously they're the problem. Let's check you out then. Let's see what you've got going for you. Oh, you have done a couple of videos. Okay, uh, you've filmed somebody's wedding. That was eight years ago. P Prince. I, I don't know. Is that referring to Prince the band, or is that just? A, is he called Prince? I don't know what that is. But uh, this is nothing to do with the gospel. Then that was over eight years. So you've done nothing since then. Uh, have you got any playlists? Well, a bit, you like your jazz music, but you've you've done nothing for the gospel, though, as far as I can see from here. How long have you been around? Nine years. No, sorry, no, 11 years. My math, excuse my math. You've been around for 11 years. Where's your faith? I mean, you, you've just commended Noah. You're agreeing with the person. You're not, you're not rebuking him sharply. You're not accusing him of a false gospel. I'm, I'm assuming that you agree with him. You got a thumbs up and, you, and you've not argued with him. So, like, again, what, what, what works are being produced by faith? I, th I thought faith without works is dead. Where's the works here? Are, are you all his soul-winning partners or something? Like, does he just know you in person? So, you know, I just don't know that because I'm thousands of miles away on the internet. What is this? Um, I guess, so, this guy, it sounds like this guy is, I don't know, challenging him over the semantics, I guess, but they look like they're having a discussion, but not really agreeing with each other uh, so I'll, I'll skip him I'm not I'm not gonna uh, uh, see if uh, I'm just making sure that I don't need to check him out um, now this this Progger Frogger guy he he has rebuked me on my channel before not not exactly about this issue but about something else so you know I didn't receive his correction so I wonder if maybe I'm being prideful. And I really need to listen to what he says, because he quotes a lot of... Well, he, he's not always quoting, but he's citing a lot of verses. So he gives quite a lot of passages. So he, he obviously knows the Bible really well, yeah? And so he's saying, there's nowhere in the Bible does it say we'll be judged uh, by anything other than our own works. So apparently, we'll, we'll definitely be judged by our works, okay? We, we can't be judged by Christ's righteous works. That, apparently, that's a lie that was invented. So... We're going to be judged by our works. Well, that, that sounds like he believes that we need to be doing works then. He's also said a lot about turning from sins. And obviously, like James 4.17 says, um, to him that knows to do good and does it not to him it sins. And he obviously, if he cites all these verses, he obviously knows that Jesus commanded us to preach the gospel to every creature. So he knows what the Bible says, right? So let, let's check him out, because I bet he's got loads of stuff about the gospel. I bet this is a proper, you know, warrior for the Lord, um, you know, given what he knows, and he's rebuked me as well. Oh, huh. what? What? Hang, hang on a minute. Let me just, sorry, let me just take a closer look at this. This channel doesn't have any content. But you know what the Bible, you, you know the Bible really well. You should be warning people about their sins and, and telling them how to be saved and warning Where's the video? Why haven't you done any video? Are they all hidden or private? Do you just share them with people on the street? And, and what about playlists? Oh, he's done some playlists. Oh, but these are all about worldly things, though. You were listening to your worldly music and being attached to the things of this world, didn't I thought Epiusion said we had to turn away from the world and, and be crucified to the world. None of this has got anything to do with... Oh, there's something about Jesus, but he's... Reform, so you you would consider him a false prophet anyway, presumably. But uh, I mean, you updated it, so at least you're updating your playlist. So anybody coming across your playlist, they might bump across that if they don't, you know, just think it's about something else entirely with all this stuff here, because all this is just the music you like, like to listen to that indulges your flesh and pleasing your flesh. Christian metal isn't like most metal music of the devil. Do we really want Christian music to be emulating that stuff? I bet your flesh gets a good kick out of that, though, doesn't it? I bet your flesh loves that stuff. Probably not spiritual. I bet your flesh loves it, though. 
Um, and you know, you, we don't want to live in the flesh, according to what you're writing here. Maybe you know, maybe you just put all this stuff up before you got saved, and maybe you've just never bothered to, um, you know, update your channel. And I understand that. Let, let, sorry, let me just. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to play that. I'm just trying to pause it. I'm just trying to see if it says when this playlist was made because that's quite an old video so you know maybe he did all this stuff before he got saved i'm just wondering where you can find if the playlist was edited but it doesn't say let me let me skip that i'm not going to waste time so never mind that but there's other stuff about music see when you look at the christian that that does say that it was updated yesterday whereas uh these these playlists don't say when they were updated, so maybe they're quite old. Maybe he's been saved since then, and he's just never bothered to delete them since he's turned away from all his sins. Something about the Beatles. Well, it isn't one of the Be wasn't one of the Beatles like a wicked atheist communist? Aren't they all kind of? Didn't didn't the Beatles really sing some really like ungodly music back in the day? And weren't they very sort of anti God? Didn't they say that, that was it one of them that said their album is bigger than God or something? I, I don't know because I don't listen to the, their worldly music. I don't know because um, I think it's a bit fleshly to be honest. But he updated that only two days ago. So, and that comment was eight days ago. But again, we have to persevere. Is, is that persevering editing your Beatles playlist for everyone to see? I don't Maybe I'm just judging him wrong, you know. Maybe I'm judging him with an unrighteous judgment, but I can't. There's not really a lot of Christian stuff going on it. There's not really anything about the gospel. How long have you been around? Ten years, ten and a half years. You've done nothing. You've rebuked me, though. You've rebuked me for preaching a false gospel because I preach easy believism. You, you hate the gospel that I preach. You insist that we've got to do works. What are you doing, mate? What is going on? What is this? Do something. What what do you do? I don't understand what any of these people do. Somebody, please help me. What are they doing? Because I'm this bone idol, easy believe this guy. And all the work I do is apparently, you know, it, it's dead works because apparently I preach a false gospel according to these guys. So I just, you know, do hours of nothing. I, I don't understand what the work is that we're supposed to be doing here. Let, let's keep going. Somebody somewhere must prove me wrong, surely. Somebody. So... Repent or perish, what are you saying? So, uh, something probably not really something to do with the, the post in question, but you've you've been under spiritual... Uh, dream, you've had dreams of spiritual attack. Something that's affecting you, so you think there's some bad spirit. Well, if the devil's going after you, you must really be taking a fight for Jesus if these spirits are coming after you. Um, oh, you cast it out in Jesus' name. It comes back in you, so you're having these dreams with these... But the devil, if, if 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 the devil's really out to get you, you must be one heck of a Christian. Let's see what you're doing then. Let's have a look at you. Oh, we have a video on the gospel. Brill. Okay, right. I mean, it's repent of your sins, and I don't agree, but that's fine. That's it. It, it, assuming that I'm wrong. At least he's done something. He has done something for. It was a whole year ago. I don't know what he's done since then. But yay, we actually have a video. Somebody has done something for the Lord. Let's. How long has he been around? So he's. This is one video in. Four, four and a half years and it was one year ago. So not not great, but anyway, he's done something. Brill, let's have a look at this video. Okay, so uh, I think I've got the volume off or something. I don't know if you can hear. Oh, no. No, it's not making any music. It's not making any noise. Okay. It's just a few slideshows. He's not saying anything. He's not really put a lot of work into this. He's not saying what repent means exactly. I mean, it doesn't look like he spent a lot of time on this video to be honest i mean you know open and nobody watches it because it's quite boring really it's only 37 seconds long so okay i mean that's not really great I, you know i think that's that's a bit of a lazy video but at least he's done something and we've got some again we've got some playlists let's see what playlist is putting together so there's some christian stuff here looks like you've put warning the people but didn't hang on a minute didn't didn't epuc unapologetics rebuke him for being false even though they both sort of believe the same gospel which is strange but didn't didn't epi, 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 you you shouldn't be posting him again he, like you why shouldn't you be warning him because he's putting playlists promoting warning the people let me just check it is warning the people it's not just the guy who looks like him no it is it's warning the people sorry i'm zoomed in you probably can't see that but that that is warning the people look you epi, on rebuked him you shouldn't be promoting him on your channel you shouldn't be putting him in your playlists but again why is he not warning him though I thought I thought we had to be walking in the truth. Warn him. You know, he could be going to hell for following the... 
right, unbelievable. Right, okay, there's still not a lot going for this guy. But, hey, he's done some work. His faith has produced something. It's a lazy 37-second PowerPoint, but at least it's something. It's a heck of a lot more than anybody else has got going for them so far. So let's keep trying. Who else have we got? Uh, faith without repent. I mean, I'm guessing that's more to do with the sin issue, but he gets a thumbs up and he probably agrees with the works. Let's keep reading if he says something else. Uh, so he's not he's not exactly using the works terminology. It's just the wide road terminology, which is kind of begging the question because it assumes you're on the the narrow road. Um, but uh, well, I, I'm assuming that he agrees with this guy. I mean, they're having a fairly that you know you are correct. So so he obviously agrees with him about the works issue, right? And he gets a thumbs up. So let let let's check him out. Let's have a look. What have you got? Uh, oh, he has uploaded a video. Okay. Uh, Oh, it's only one... 12 years ago. Wow, okay. You've been a bit quiet. You've been on a long holiday. What's it about? It's 10 seconds long. Not really a lot of effort. Nothing to do with the gospel whatsoever. Nothing for Jesus. 12 years... So your channel is obviously old. 2009. Like, my maths, what is that? 13 years... 13 and a half years. And the last bit of work you did was 12 years ago, and it's not for the kingdom of God. What playlist have you got? Oh, okay. Uh nothing to do with jesus nothing to do with jesus i don't think that's anything to do with jesus i might be wrong that's something to do with jesus at least you're putting a playlist together to, to you know promote other people's work but i can't imagine you get a lot of views on your channels osas questions i mean is that is that refuting osas is it supporting osas because you're you're agreeing with him he's not osas what let's just have a look so it's a debate uh I've I've never heard of that channel. I don't know if it's pro OSAS or against OSAS. These are all debates, though. They're not like they're not like actual. They're not like unequivocal answers. They're just sort of debates and arguments with people. Uh, I mean, him. I, I see. I don't know if you're saying OSAS questions and you play. I don't know if you're agreeing with him or you're against him because I think that video. I think that is pro OSAS. That that guy. Um, who else? Well, oh, you're promoting him. He's Osas. I, I, I'm assuming you're promoting him. Are you promoting him or rebuking him? I can't tell from the title. But like all, a lot of these people that you're listing here, he thinks they're false, but you're agreeing with him. So if you're going to warn us about the wide road and so many people, are, I don't know what the wide road is because I don't know what you believe because you're agreeing with him but putting them in your playlist, and the playlist doesn't say that they're false or anything. I don't know what you believe. I don't know what the wide road is listening to you. This doesn't make any sense. Can, can someone here please make sense? Uh, again, most of this is absolutely nothing to do with the gospel whatsoever, and even if it's work, they're all playlists. It's not your own work. And, like, half this stuff, it's like, what has this got to do with kingdom of God? Why do you even care about this stuff if you're so spiritual? Um, you know, if you're not concerned with the things of this world I, I don't get it you've been you've been around for how long you, you've been around for ages what have you done nothing but we i thought we had to be doing this stuff to be saved and you're not warning him if, if i'm preaching a false gospel for goodness sake warn these people i thought you cared about their souls nothing let's keep going so, somebody come on somebody impress me right works are dead without first having faith okay so so they're are right. The, these guys, they're arguing with each other purely over semantics. Because he he's like saying, well, if you have the faith, it will just it just validates the works. Whereas he's saying, no, you are justified. So it's like they're arguing over semantics because they both agree on faith without works. They're arguing over word games. But it's like I don't know if you're agreeing with him. I don't know if you're not agree with him. Um, it, it's like you're causing an argument when you're not even in opposition to each other, which is a bit weird. But, um, I, I don't know. Well, you see, again, this guy, Progger Frogger, good works are the evidence of faith. Well, you have to have... We, I don't know, he's saying we have to have works, but he doesn't have anything, though. Let's let's have a look at this guy. I mean, I know he's not in agreement with Epiusion exactly, but he's saying that faith evidences works or something to that effect. Oh, well, he's done something about sharing God's love. Sounds a bit fluffy from the title, to be honest. These are all video games. This is all stuff to do with the world. What has that got to do with the kingdom of God? And again, four years ago, done nothing. Again, about how long have you... Again, how many years have you been here producing nothing? Do some work. 
It's so frustrating. These guys are telling me to do works and I don't do enough and I'm making people lazy. You've done nothing. Right. Can you please pray? I don't know what the pro I'm not going to investigate that that person because uh, I, I don't know what, what he's going through there. I don't want to burden him if he's, you know, asking for prayer. Uh, oh, how deceived we are on faith alone. Well, I mean, I believe faith alone, but anyone looking on my channel, on your channel, think I've done more work than you, though. So, you know, not that it's about comparison, but if, if you're going to stand by what you believe, though, and you know the Bible well, you could you could do something for God. But anyway, yeah, who cares? Right, okay, next one. Uh, is that the same Eric Smith as above? Oh, no, there's two different Eric Smiths. So let's check this out. Could be the same person with different channels, I don't know. I mean, he's asking for recommendations. Oh, he's got a comment further down here. Quick. Oh, okay, so he's like, um, he's mocking us for quoting Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 because, like, they think that we're, like, you know, saying, look, here's a squirrel, like, you know, trying to deflect attention away. Uh, but then, you know, we, we say that they do the same thing with James 2. So, okay. He's, again, pro-works. Uh, okay. Right. Oh, what's he saying? Sorry, I'm just trying to read through really quickly here. Oh, but he, they obviously agree, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, he, he doesn't get a thumbs up, this guy. But let's just let's just check it out. Uh, again, nothing to do with the kingdom of God. Nothing, nothing. Just, that's just a video of somebody. But who passed it? Is that the? Um, in that Tim, is that Tim Conway? Because again, isn't he like reformed and you guys are anti-reformed? So should you really be? I mean, that was five years ago. Maybe you've got saved quote unquote since then. But that's the first bit of th thing I've seen related to the Bible at all. That you know, I think that is Tim Conway. You need to get you need to take that down because Epius I'm sure Epiusian would probably rebuke him. But that was five years ago. So even since then, nothing for the kingdom of God. Uh what about your shorts? No, nothing for the kingdom of God. Playlists, no place whatsoever. How long have you been around? Again, nine years. What are you doing? Do something. If we have to have these works for faith, do something with your faith, for goodness sake. If this is. I'm, I'm trying to learn here. I'm trying to get correction here. I want to be corrected if I'm preaching something false and if I'm raising lazy believers. Help me out here, somebody. So let's let, let's let's skip that part. I think I've worked my way down that post. So let's have a look at this video because I, I I did a video on this the other day and this is. Um, you know, where he victim blames that suicidal guy that I actually know who the person is. So he puts this verse on the screen that, you know, Jesus' true brothers and sisters are those that hear the word of God and do it. And by, and by do it, he, he means, you know, the works, the works that we have to do for salvation, right? So this is important stuff. Um, you know, he's promoting that we have to do works again. So let's see if there's anybody else who we haven't come across before. I don't think we've come across SH before. This was real good. So remember that in this video... He says to the free grace community, why won't we just crucify ourselves? Why won't we just deny ourselves? You know, why don't we just do the works? Why why are we just sitting back and doing nothing? Well, I mean your own followers haven't looked very impressive so far, but let's I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna have faith in you, Epius Young, that you're gonna produce something here, okay? That your followers are gonna do something. Let's keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying until I get something. SH, this was real good, right? You really agree with him, you get a thumbs up. He obviously likes you, he's not uh I'm assuming he's not warning you or anything. Right, so we better expect something good from you then. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, one video about 1 John 3 8. It's staring at a wall for some reason. Uh, I mean, what this will be about sinless perfectionism properly. What is it about? I can't hear one anything. Of the that God showed me. Oh, you say, oh, God showed you that old chestnut. Right, okay, yeah. God's always showing people, but they always have different opinions about things all the time. So something about 1 John 3 8. Okay, so 1 John 3, this is one of the verses that sinless perfectionists love to quote mine. You know, he that commits sin is of the devil. So, obviously, what they mean by that is, if you if you have any sin in your life, you're of the devil. That's why you have to turn from all of your sins and not sin anymore, right? So, I mean, at least he's done something. He's warning people about sins. That was five months ago. Don't know what he's done since then. He doesn't tell me exactly how to be saved by the look of it. So I don't know why he's staring at the wall. I don't know why you don't just show your face. Because doesn't like the Holy Spirit give you boldness or something? You know, like a, a Stephen. I mean, at least Epiusion shows his face. Can't you show your face? Are you, are you embarrassed? Are you worried that someone will come after you? Why, why are you filming the wall or the carpet? That is weird. No playlists. Channel, no. Uh, 
okay, you've not been around as long, okay, so, you know, maybe you're a recent convert, you know, maybe the Lord's still showing you stuff as you claim this video, I'm going to let you off the hook, okay, we'll let you off the hook, because, you know, there's people who know better than you, and they haven't put, that you've actually performed better than people who know better than you, so you're off the hook, we'll let you off, let's keep going. Amen, uh, free indeed, by, uh, he means free from sin, he doesn't mean free grace or anything, uh, freed from sin, cleansing, walking holiness, there it is, so, you know, this guy must be doing a work walk, he's obviously been set free from his sins, he gets a thumbs up, so let's have a look at him, uh, no videos again, I thought you were walking in holiness, do something for God, you lazy, idle, slothful, wicked servants, right, playlists, okay, well, oh, right, we've got something, at long last, we have something, you've put together Christian videos, they're not your videos, you've not done any of this work, but uh, at least you're putting something together, so at least somebody, if for some weird reason they ever click on your channel, which why would they if you don't upload any videos, but at least they'll be pointed to something, so at least you could be bothered to make a playlist, I mean, I don't think that's a lot of hard work, but at least your faith is producing something, and how long have you been around? Oh wow, okay, you've been around less than one year, so the person who's been around less than one year has done more work than people who have been around for 9 or 10 years. What is going on? Well, well done you. Well done you for getting, you know, mustering up the Holy Spirit and being filled with the Spirit to put a playlist together. Bravo. Uh, here's another one. Share. Amen. Straight from the Word of God. Written all over the place. Right, okay. If only we could read it for themselves. If only we could understand us who are lazy and don't do anything. And I don't have loads of detailed studies that have took me hours of my life to do to help people you know darn me and my lazy faith and me you know still in my sins you've obviously turned from all your sins because you preach the god oh wait there's nothing about the gospel in jesus said to preach the gospel to every creature and we're told bear abuse the unapologetics if we don't do the commandments we're not saved and you're not following the commandment to preach the gospel to every creature here maybe you do it in your personal life outside of youtube i don't know maybe you're just so busy you know, doing real evangelism, you just don't have time for YouTube. You have time to comment, perhaps. Perhaps you just, you know, squeeze that in your day somewhere. Playlist, nothing. Videos, nothing. You've been around for 12 years. What have you done? You've done nothing. You managed to find time to put a picture of your dog up there, but you've not managed to find time to do some public videos to tell Unsaved Joe how to make it to heaven when he dies, because, you know, there's this really horrible place called hell and we don't want people to go there. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. This is terrible. What is going on? What is this circus? Okay, gloriously said. Okay, and he's condoning the suicide. Wow, is that really him? Okay, so he's agreeing with the turn from your sins guy, crucify the flesh. If that's you, are you, are you is that really you? Or is that just like a... I mean, doesn't the Bible say something about gluttony? Are you, and Cigarette, are you going to tell people that you've turned from all your sins? I've turned around, I've repented of all of my sins. I've crucified the flesh. I hope that's not you. Maybe that's just a joke. Maybe I don't get the joke. And if that's if that's not you, I apologise for misrepresenting you. But if that is you, I mean, look, gluttony, you know, foolish thoughts. What, what are you putting into your body? Um, I mean... He gets a thumbs up, no warning. Hey, brother, put that cigarette down. Hey, brother, lose some weight and stop eating all the food. No warning whatsoever. How long have you been around? Three years. Okay, not as long, but still, again, nothing. Why is it, why is it so painful? Why am I so annoyed? I shouldn't be this annoyed. Okay, uh, what's he saying? What is that? Okay, so he's saying something about the house and the foundations, I guess. Uh, but looks like he's agreed. Great point. Okay, so... They obviously, they're on good terms with each other. Let's see what works your faith has produced. <clears throat> You've done something. Oh, okay. Oh, something that's got nothing to do with Jesus. And you did that four years ago. You've done nothing since then. Nothing to do with Jesus in your playlist. And you've been around for nine years and done absolutely nothing with your faith. But you agree with the guy who tells you to work your way to heaven. This is true. I've already done you. I'm not doing you again. You, oh, he's just sharing the truth. I mean, I'm not quite sure what that verse has to do with the, the matter at hand, but he gets a thumbs up, so I'm going to assume that you agree with him. I apologise if I'm misrepresenting you. If you don't agree with him, I have to ask forgiveness if, if you're not one of his ilk, but you've done no videos, you've done no playlists, doing nothing for Jesus, and you've been around for four and a half years selling your merchandise, which is, is not wrong. That's nothing evil about that. I'm sure they're very useful things, but it's... Not really helping the kingdom of God, though, is it? 
Uh, next guy. Oh, okay. Well, he hasn't had any feedback from MPP. I don't know if EPUC owner agrees with him. Uh, let's just see what he's saying. Bear with me. Uh, let's just have a look. Okay, it's a very long comment. I'm not going to go through it all here, but I've read it all, and he's trying to interpret what the Corinthians passage means, this this one right here, about 315. He goes on to about how believers should be doing all this work, and if we don't do all this work, we cannot escape the fire. And Sorry, excuse me. And he means the everlasting fire. And God bless, right, okay, you're God blessing the person who's promoting work salvation. So I'm going to assume that you are of his ilk then. You're not refuting him, you're agreeing with him, and you're blessing him. So uh, you obviously agree with his gospel if you're God blessing him. No videos, you've done nothing for the kingdom of God. No playlists, you've done nothing for the kingdom of God. How long have you... Okay. Oh, you've only been around for a few days. What date are we on now? We're on the 6th, two days ago. Did you just create... Did you just create your channel just so you could comment on him or something? Well, you're off the hook. You've not been around long enough. I'll, you're off the hook. But, I mean, you've had time to... You know the Bible well enough if you're quoting all that, so you could have started your channel earlier and, you know, published some content, because you obviously know the Bible quite well if you're explaining all this, but, you know, maybe you'll edify people one day. I've got to get, I've got to give time for the fruit to grow the tree. You know, it takes time to grow fruit. It doesn't come straight away, so I'll give you time. Um, that's just a person asking a question. I don't know if it's somebody who agrees or not. Also, not too many people preach salvation alongside actual... Well, that's not true, because most people are repent of your sins, technically. That's what a lot of what I've done is, is about. But I'm guessing that you're saying that as a criticism, so you think that salvation should come with obedience. Now, I apologise in advance if I'm misrepresenting you, but I'm going to assume that that's what you believe, okay? Uh, okay, so something about Bill Gates. Not sure what that's to do with the kingdom of God. Is is that a Miley Cyrus song? I don't know, but none of this has anything to do with the kingdom of God. It's not work for Jesus. Nothing to do with the kingdom of God. Playlists. Uh, oh, you've got a playlist about the Bible. Bravo. But the rest of it, nothing. most of it, nothing to do with the kingdom of God. With the odd tidbit here and there, but... I mean, how much work do you really have to put into making a playlist? It's someone else's work. Uh, oh, Faith Without Works is... Okay, so you're, you're hardcore then. Right. You really believe that now. Okay. Now you do. Okay. Right. So we have to be doing all this stuff. That's what you're saying. Well, where's the videos about the gospel then? I mean, maybe this is your work. Maybe posting these comments that really nobody is watching. So you're wasting your time a little bit. I mean, if you're going to do some work for God, try and do useful work at least about... Uh, okay. I don't really care. Uh, you've been around for two years. Not really very impressive, but You've done something, at least, I guess. Hmm. Oh, free graces deny the truth. That Well, again, you know, you want to be judged right. You don't preach the gospel on your channel. So, I've already done more than you, but you've rebuked me. I, don't, I just can't fathom it. Right, okay. Uh, that's a question. I, I don't know if you agree with him or not. Um. Nothing. But, I mean, that, that looks like a young lad. I'm going to take it upon myself not to judge him, okay, because he's just asking a question. You know, maybe he's just finding it. I don't want to judge him, so I'm going to let him off the hook. James McAllister, okay, repent and be back time. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I mean, he gets a thumbs up. You don't preach that. Well, actually, I've heard that verse used loads of times for the repent of your sins to be saved gospel, but uh, anyway. Okay, that's the truth. Okay, right, you're, you're agreeing with him. You agree. Okay. It's all about doing the works then. Right, let's have a look at you. No videos, no playlists, nothing for the kingdom of God. You've been around for two and a half years, which isn't very long, I suppose. You know, maybe you just need a bit of time, but no warning, nothing to say, hey, brother, do some work. Uh, seeking truth, you are coming... Well, okay, he's criticising him, so he's off the hook. That's it. So that's it for that video. So again, you know, I've spent another 10, what, 10, 11 minutes doing all this, and we're... We're seeing nothing from these people. Maybe it's just him, okay? Maybe somebody else out there is, is just better than him. I, need, I just need to check somebody else out. We, we've spent a long time on him. Maybe somebody else is driving the work. Let's have a look. Now, here's um, a video where somebody was actually ref like rebuking me. That um, rep He was saying that repentance does mean to turn from your sins to be saved based on Isaiah fifty nine twenty, but I I asked him a question. Well, if you believe in faith plus repent of your sins, how can you then also say it's by faith alone? Because he gives lip service to faith alone, 
But he says at the end of this video somewhere that he can't answer that question because it's not faith plus repent of your sins. It is faith alone. So then he says that repent of your sins is faith alone. But then if he really believes in faith alone, and if that's what repent of your sins is faith alone, it's not adding works to the gospel, then I can't understand why one of his commentators insists on saying that faith produces good works. I mean, even if that's true, what's that got to do with the video? Because he's defending faith alone that repent of your sins is not works. So I don't really understand that. But then he says amen, so he still agrees with it. So he doesn't really believe in faith alone, to be honest. I mean, saying faith produces good works versus faith plus works, it's it's really a diff difference without distinction. That's how a lot of Christians deceive you into trusting in works without really saying it's by works. It's, you know, he, he they're not the first people to play this trick. But you insist that faith produces good works. Okay, well, let's have a look at your faith then. Uh, let's see what your faith produces. Oh, again, no content. Why? Playlists. Oh, you, oh you've done playlists, right. Okay, that's impressive. Well, that's uh, work. Uh, not really sure why you've got fellowships and you've got a half-naked, almost, woman on the picture. Well, that's, that's between you and God, I suppose. A lot of this has got very little to do with God, and some, some of it has, I guess. No, it's just your songs. But, again, not really much going on for the kingdom of God here. Save, but again, why are we calling him Yeshua? If you have to call him Yeshua and then you have to put in brackets who it really is, maybe you should just call him what the Bible calls him. Because this right here is like when we start engaging in idolatry, where we have to call Jesus something different than the Bible calls him. Almost because it's like we believe something, somebody else other than the Jesus in the Bible. You know this another Jesus that the Bible warns us about? If you have to put his name in brackets to say that, just stop using that. You, you sound stupid, you sound like Hebrew roots, and you sound like you believe in works of the Lord. Just stop doing it. But anyway, not really the point of this video. Three years, nothing. You know, nothing. So, more of this empty faith. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at why City Preach. So he's done videos with Epiusio, and you know, they're pretty much the same doctrine, same camp. They agree with each other, they borderline, you know, promote one another. So, let, let you know, it's, it's the same gospel, so it's he'd be okay if I went to him to find the gospel. So, you know, maybe we've, we can expect something better from his followers, because he, he seems to lead, like, proper church services. So, you know, maybe he's just a bit more competent at leading the people to the charge than, than he is, so... Let's have a look. Um, okay, this person still falls into sin, so it's maybe somebody who doesn't agree with him, although he gets a thumbs up for some weird reason. Uh, okay, asking questions. No, okay, good teachings. So you seem to agree with him, but may maybe you're a new believer, I think. You look like maybe you don't know the Bible very well because you are sort of humbly asking these questions. I'm, I'm going to let you off the hook. At the risk of... You know, I'm going to let you off the hook, I think. Uh, okay, I was called a false prophet for telling people to obey Jesus. Right, okay. So you get a thumbs up. So you're standing for the truth. Uh, so, okay, you obviously seem to think that we should obey Jesus then, right? Okay, people have called you out for that. Well, let's just make sure you practice what you preach. Hmm. Uh, oh, there is something there. One video. Right, okay, and it's, it's a psalm. I'm not sure if that's about salvation. Let's check it out. The fir trees are her house. Oh, it's just a reading from the Bible from uh, Bible Hub, because I recognise the voice from my Bible Hub. So you've not really done any work, you just did a two-minute recording, slapped a PowerPoint on. I'm not really going to count that as any useful work, although I suppose it's more effort than the playlist people tend to put in. One video, four months ago, done nothing again, for the gospel's sake. Done a short again, I'm guessing that's probably the same thing. No playlists. How long have you been around? 2016. Right, so you've been around for a good, what, six years almost, and you call, so people are calling you a false prophet saying we have to obey Jesus. Well, if we have to obey Jesus, didn't Jesus say preach the gospel to every creature? Where is the videos where you're preaching the gospel to every creature? It's amazing too. Come on, mate. Faith without works is dead. Do some work. Get your living faith. Come on. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, right, light onto the people ministries. Okay, he's got a pretty authoritative looking picture, so uh right, okay, God bless you is God blessing the works guy, so he obviously agrees with him, so I'm gonna check you out. Okay, ooh Ooh, videos, videos. Ooh, right, okay, we've got something. We have something, people. Rat white smoke from the building. A works guy has actually produced some work on his channel. Wow, okay. 
as recently as two months ago as well. Okay, right, wow, this guy does actually do some work. Okay, well, I mean, we obviously disagree without the gospel, but if, if we assume that I'm wrong, okay, he's done some work over the last few months. So between seven months to two months ago, he is doing some work at least. He's doing something. Some of these videos look quite long, so it sounds like he's doing something. How? Oh, oh and he's only been around for... He, he's been around less than one year. So in less than one year, he's done more work than all than all, all of these other people. So, okay, well, congratulations to him for actually doing work for his faith. But if he can do all of that in less than a year, what are these people doing that have been had their YouTube accounts for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years? What are they doing? Because this guy can do it. So at least this guy proves that less than one year on YouTube is enough time to do something. So... Congratulations, light onto the people's ministry. I guess you're going to heaven. You're, you're probably the first person we've come across that we can authoritatively say is going to heaven because he's got some works to show for Jesus, for his faith. Bravo you. Well done. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're really putting everybody else to shame right now. You must pe feel pl pretty pleased with yourself if you ever see this video. Uh, right, okay, let's see you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wrap up now because now that we've actually found somebody, I think we can start uh, wrapping up soon. So... Oh, another one who's actually done videos. Okay. Well, uh, it looks like Keith's followers seem to work a lot harder than Epiusio and Apologetics uh, followers. Although, I guess street preaching, you know, screaming at people who aren't really listening. But they're doing work, so, you know, if, if their gospel is true, then we can't really fault them, can we? This looks like a, a proper channel, and he's been around for a long time. So, yeah, that... I'm going to put him like with Epiusio and Y City Preachers. He's obviously doing the work. So well done him. So at least the people who follow Keith work a little bit harder than Epiusio's followers. We can say that at least. I don't know why Keith doesn't crack the whip and tell Epiusio to actually get some work done and get his followers actually working harder. But that's between them and God. It's got nothing to do with me. Albert Quiros, this is a blessing. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Okay, God bless. So we're all on good terms. We're getting a thumbs up. Oh, you've done no videos, though. I mean, come on, take a leaf out of this guy's book. Take a leaf out of this guy's book, man. Learn from your brothers and sisters in Christ. Do some work like they're doing. Come on, they're exhorting you to do something in your faith. At least you could find the time to put playlists together. I guess it's better than nothing. You've been around for, you know, two and a half years. Well, he's been around for less than that, and he did more work. So take a leaf out of his book and do something. Right, another one warning is about false prophets. Uh, again, another one presumably believing in the works. He gets a little, you know, he gets the little heart. So, uh, revelations and visions. Well, wow. it's always a cracker when they think they get these revelations. Well, he's done some uploads, but I mean, they don't all look like his work. Some of it is just other people, but he's done something. I mean, that was a year ago. What have you been doing since then? Have you lost your salvation since then? Come on, get on with it. I mean, at least you've not been around for too long. So, I mean, you've done something. Okay. Keith, Keith's channel is looking a bit more promising, you know. People are looking a bit more fruitful. We're, we're doing a bit... We're working a bit harder when we follow Keith than when we follow Epiusion. So, credit to Keith there. Uh, Walter. Mm. Okay. Well, you've done videos, but not sure what any of these have to do with the gospel, though. And you've got long hair in the Bible. It does say it's a shame for a man to have long hair. That's in Corinthians. Um, so... Yeah. Okay, I've just realised actually. If I go back to the comment, that that's not clear whether or not he actually agrees with Keith. I mean, it only, it only says if you're trying based on your own efforts. It, it doesn't really say whether you have to have works or not. So, if you are actually a brother in Christ and you believe it's by faith alone, I apologise for being overly judgmental because at least you know you're not promoting works, but. I mean, trouble. You are getting a thumbs up from Keith, though. That that tells me he knows you before you've commented on him before. You must be agreeing. Um, but if you ask questions, I'm not really sure. But uh, well, you've been around for a long time. But there's not really. There's a little bit of stuff about Christianity. I will let him off the hook, to be fair. But I mean, that was years ago. What have you done since then? But anyway, we'll let. We'll we'll just go past him. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, Herald the King. Okay, praise God. So again, thumbs up. Uh, so, oh, you've done nothing. Play playlist. Well, you've you've put playlist together, but you've you've not really done any of your own work, though, have you? Like, what what's your faith producing, though? Um, okay, so you you live by faith, but you don't you don't producing any videos for about the gospel. You've been around for eight years. Now you see, even though some of these other commentators that follow Keith, they're working a lot harder than Epiusion, but we're not 
we're still not getting warnings though like hey brother do some work we're not getting the warnings about this so again maybe i'm just being prejudgmental because i don't know these people maybe they do something forgotten i just don't know about it i don't know i would have, i would have just expected that if these people have really crucified the flesh and you know they're not watching television and they're not watching ungodly music that they'd probably be filling their spare time with doing stuff for youtube at least you know to reach unsaved joe but uh, there you go it's one of those things Okay, so next one, Timothy, oh, so he, uh, okay, one of the things I've been called a lot was legalist or a Pharisee, which is ironic because the, the Pharisees were hypocrites because they said one thing and did another, right? So he's sort of defending himself like he's not a hypocrite, okay? He gets a like from Keith and then, all right, exactly right, but it's comical that people would call us a Pharisee for obeying God. Now you see, Epiusion does this a lot and what this is, this is manipulative actually. Because they're trying to manipulate you into thinking that we criticise them for something different than what we actually criticise. We don't criticise you for obeying God. We don't criticise you for turning from sin. We criticise you for the gospel that you preach and making your obedience a part of the gospel. We, we don't criticise you for obeying God, though, OK? You know, but this is, this is how they manipulate people. So that's already a life. We're going to be justified by faith with works your works don't look very good when you make these false claims that you're being attacked that's not what you're being attacked for okay but anyway so we get called the pharisees being hypocrites but that you know we're not hypocrites so what they're really the pharisee for falsely accusing us we're trying to obey god well let's see if you obey god then uh, oh no again no videos to do with the gospel jesus said preach the gospel to every creature you know do something what playlist of Christian music, which most Christian music, if it's on Vivo, it's, you know, probably some apostate anyway, but, well, it's not really the gospel, but at least you found time to put the playlist together. Faith, obedience, while well, he did tell you to preach the gospel and you've done no videos about the gospel, but, you know, maybe you just haven't had enough time in three years, I just need to, you know, give that give that tree another year, maybe it'll produce ne fruit next year, and if it doesn't, then Christ can cut it down, I don't know. Phenomenal teaching. Thumbs up. Right. So you're, you're obviously on good terms with him. Let's have a look. No content for the gospel whatsoever. No playlist. You've been around for 10 years and you have produced nothing. No warning. Hey, brother, I can't see any videos on your channel. Do some work for God. Maybe you go street preaching together. So maybe he does do the work. I don't know. I would have just thought that if you've not got time to be in the world, you're not in the things of the world. Maybe you've got a bit of spare time to do something for the Internet, you know, for all the people that you can't reach in person. But what do I know? I'm just an idiot who apparently preaches a false gospel. And I tell people that we don't need to do any work. And I'm a bone idle, loss, you know, slothful, lazy idiot, apparently. Um... I do agree with faith that faith alone is not enough. It's not enough. Right, well, that's very... Uh, you sound very sure about that. What are you doing, then? Not enough. Okay, so you do a little bit about Christian stuff. Uh, okay, fine. You do something, I suppose. Um, okay, well, obviously you stand by what you uh, say, then, because you are doing something, which is more than a lot of people that we've been looking at today. Uh, oh, so you see, if we have to obey Jesus, I, I can't remember the Bible verse where Jesus actually said surrender. Now, again, if these people are preaching the right gospel and we have to abide in Jesus' word, shouldn't we use the words that Jesus used? But I, I don't remember, the at least not in the King James Bible. Maybe your translation says something different, but I don't remember that word in the Bible. So if, it, if we have to obey the commandments of Jesus, why, why are you teaching the commandments of men? But, uh, you know, I mean, let's be fair. Again, you've done more work than most of the people that we've looked at today. So bravo to you. And you've been, you know, around for only a few years. So you're working harder than some. Fair enough. So I guess when we look at Keith's followers, they're obviously a lot more... I mean, they work harder than Epiusion's followers on average. We can say that much. But he's still not warning... He, the It's the idle people that he's not warning to, you know, do some more work. And that's what's really frustrating about this, is that, you know, if we eliminate Keith's followers... I mean, how many people have we seen from this guy that follow him like, yes and amen, they get a thumbs up, nothing about the gospel on their channel, but then they rebuke me for making people slothful and idle and lazy. Well, my channel's full of content, so, you know it's not like i sit around doing nothing but then he was like, why don't you just deny yourself why don't you crucify yourself well i thought we had but you know i mean you don't know me you don't know any of us but you keep throwing that accusation out there and you know i i know other people that do way more work than some of your followers but you're not warning them 
So, you know, that's, I mean, credit to Keith. At least he's got some followers that work harder than his followers, but you're still fellowshipping with him. If I, if I were you, I'd cut him off because he sounds like he's got some dead branches attached to him, if you ask me. But that's between you and God. It's got nothing to do with me. Okay, so the last guy I'm going to, I'm going to make this the last one because I think you kind of get the idea. Let's just, but he he's more famous. Jesse Morell is obviously much more widely known than Epiusione and Keith uh, from Y City Preachers. So Adam and Keith. So maybe, you know, maybe uh, maybe because he's more well known, you know, we've got more people that we can examine. But I'll I'll be a bit quicker about examining people. So he's doing this thing, you know, dead faith. So again, he assumes that it ought to produce works. Now Michaela Cooper, she's actually another works person that I could look through her channel and see what people say on her channel but i've caught her lying about the greek and the whole repentance issue so you know her faith isn't looking very good when she gets up and makes false claims and when i tried to confront her about it she just said listen to the words coming out of your mouth like she just refused correction so you know her faith isn't mightily impressive but i mean at least she does some work so she does something for her faith at least so i'll let her off the hook i already know about her next person right okay so uh you're agreeing with the works guy. You obviously think you have a non-dead faith. No content about the gospel. It's just about your dog from nine years ago. So you've obviously been around for a long time. No video about the gospel. But you are giving a thanks to the works guy. So, you, you, I mean, you agree with him. But you're not living by him, though. Uh, I mean, you're not... That's not really saying whether you agree with him or not. Clear teaching. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Okay, right, unconfess it. So you, you're obviously one of these turn from your sins guys. Well, you obviously agree with obeying Jesus then. You've done nothing about the gospel, though, and Jesus did tell you to preach the gospel to every creature. And it, sin is not just about turning away from evil. It's also about doing good because, you know, to him that knows to do well and does it not, to him it is sin, James chapter 4. So, you know, you must, you must know that you're supposed to be doing something. You've been around long enough. But uh, that's obviously between you and God. What's it got to do with me? So, uh, right, uh, kind of, I don't know what that's referring to with its relevant. So, amen, great video. So, again, you're agreeing with him. So, faith without works, you know, we ought to be producing works, but you've not done anything for the kingdom of God and you've been around for nine years. Uh, David. So, so again, this is like, we're back to Epiusione territory again, where we've got all these followers that, that agree with us that we have to do it, but they don't do anything, though. We've got nothing from them. Um, I mean, you're not saying that you agree with him. You're just asking a question. You're off the hook. Uh, yes, that's correct. So, OK, I'm going to assume that you agree with him then, and you've done nothing for the kingdom of God. What is your dead faith producing? I don't know. There's nothing for me to go on. I can't, I can't judge you with a godly judgment because I've got nothing. Um, I'm saying, okay, well, I mean, I'm guessing that sounds like he's preaching works. I'm not really sure, but uh, let's just quickly check him out. Well, again, music, worldly things, not really anything to do with the kingdom of God. He's been around for 11 years, so nothing again. Um, we've already checked you out, haven't we? Uh, do not be conformed, be transformed, okay. You believe in being transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do what is good and pleasing. So we should go on your channel and see that it's pleasing. You're probably not really pleasing by doing the using the NIV, but that's by the by. Again, nothing. What are you doing that's pleasing to God? Nothing to get unsaved Joe, saved from eternal hell. And you've been around for six years. Come on, get to work. Romans 1, Jesus said... Uh, again, I don't know anybody who argues with that. So, uh, but uh, nothing... Oh, okay, you're saying one saved is a lie, so you don't want to lose your salvation, but you've not done any work for the gospel, though there's no videos by you, and you have been around for nine years, so have, have you lost your salvation then? What are you talking about? Fight on. What fight are you doing? Do some work. Uh, spelling grammar, not really relevant to the issue being discussed. Uh, you seem to be disagreeing, so I'm going to skip you. See, you're... False false is that this sounds like you agree with him, although you're not really directing it at Jesse personally, why City Preachers. You see, Jesse says that repent of your sins isn't a work. You and Epiusio and you seem to think that it is a work. Who's right? So, you know, you can't even agree on what the work is, really. Um, okay, I'll skip that. So, so you don't have any... Okay, that guy disagrees, so he's off the hook. Um... Okay, so he's refuting the Calvinist. I'm going to assume then that means that you agree with Jesse Merrill. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not really sure whether you agree. I'm just going to skip you. Uh, false. What do you, okay, you're rebuking him. Fine. Please. Okay, you're rebuking him. Fine. Okay, you're giving him a thanks. 
So you, again, you agree with him. So let's just take a look at you and you've done nothing for the kingdom of God. So if we're going to give anybody a round of applause, I guess we should uh, give uh, Keith a sort of a round of applause because at least he's got some people that follow him that actually do some work, some useful work. So, you know, he's at least miles ahead of the others, but he still doesn't warn people when they don't do work, though. And it's like, you know, we've got all these people telling us left, right, centre... You need to be doing works, guys. We need to be denying self. We need to be turning from our sins. These free graces preach a false gospel. Easy believers them. You sit down and do nothing. You're not doing work for God. Why won't you deny yourself? Well, most of you have done nothing that we can verify. You're not doing work. So, you know, you can criticise me for being easy believers, but it's like I've done more work than you. So if we have to do works to be saved, well, I'm already doing work. So who's drawing the line here? So... You know, I guess I'm not that worried, really, about my own works for now. I mean, I don't brag in my works anyway. You know, if, if, if I'm going to be judged by my works, well, okay, I'll, I'll see you in hell, to be honest. Because, you know, my works are as filthy rags. But, um, again, I would, I would have just expected that the people who preach works, salvation, or that, you know, works in, are included in salvation, you, you would have done something. And there's just so many people who do nothing, but you're agreeing with the works guy. And it's like, you know, cast another burden on me, please. So that's all I'm going to say about it. But, uh, you know, those who listen to, I, I hope, you know, all the questions that we asked at the beginning of the video, I hope that answers them for you. Okay, goodbye.